We're going to add a controller and a door to the controller in this video. First thing, we go to company name. And in here, we can name this whatever we want. I'm going to call mine ASI test. And we're going to save and close. In here, the next step is to go to your cluster. Remember, you would go to new and add an iStar cluster, new. We've already done that. So when you say new, it comes down here. We have it labeled as test one. There is also an iStar edge already added in here. And you can see it's already in the cluster. We're going to add an iStar Ultra controller. So we highlight the cluster, go to new, add iStar Ultra controller, new. We're going to call this Ultra Test. And you need the last half of the MAC address that normally shows on the LCD screen on the GCM and the panel. So you get the last six numbers. I don't actually have one, so I'm going to make up six numbers. And then I'm going to give it a time zone. And I'm going to put it in my time zone, which is GMT negative 8 Pacific time, because we are in California. We're going to uncheck use DHCP. And then we're going to put in the IP address that we already put into our panel. Now, to put an IP address into the panel will be covered under another video, but it's fairly simple. You just plug into the Ethernet port number 2 on the GCM, and then you would use a web, any web browser, and the IP address 192.168.1.253, and that'll take you right into the web interface in the panel where you can then change all the network properties. Now that we've got that, once communication is established with the panel, it'll give you a communication path down here. We're going to say save and close. Okay, so here is our panel. We highlight it. New iStar door. New. In this page, this is where we're going to name the door that we want to use, and we're going to associate all of our points that we have to put into our ACM. Before we go on this page, we're going to double click iStar controller and we're going to go to boards. And as you can see, an iStar Ultra can handle up to two ACM boards. We're just going to check one. Before you can edit anything in one of these panels, you have to check configured. Configure, edit. We go in here. This is our ACM one. We're going to go to inputs, 24 inputs on an ACM board. And we're going to start with number one, configure, edit. And we're just going to do a standard door with a door contact and a request to exit. One reader, one lock. So here, I like to go in one, ACM one. We'll call this the front door. And then DC for door contact. Make sure that it's enabled. This is all of your relative programming information. And then of course the resistor that's hooked up to it or you can set it up for unsupervised or supervised. And then you have to arm it in order for it to work. Save and close. Next input we're going to do is the request to exit. So configure, edit, same thing as the door contact here. I am going to call this into ACM1 front door. RX. It's enabled, it needs to be armed. Save and close. Next, we're going to go to our outputs. As you can see, an ACM1 has 16 outputs on it. 
a primary relay and a secondary relay. Our primary relay, configure, edit, we're going to call this out1, ACM1, front door, LK. Here is all of your programming information as regards to the relay. Save and close. Next we're going to go to Wiegand. We're setting up a direct connect Wiegand reader. We're going to configure, edit. We're going to call it we won ACM1 front door CR card format these are the standard card formats that come preset in Secure 9000 I'm going to check standard Wigan 26 it's the most common that we use with most systems I'm going to say okay LED control should be three wire, red, green, yellow, and I always like to beep on card read. And we're going to say save and close. At this point, we're going to go through everything here and we're going to save and close everything that we've done so far. It's just a good habit. Now we're back at the door properties. Door switch monitor. We're going to hit the ellipsis button and as you can see, are two inputs that are enabled. If we had enabled all eight, they would show up in here. But this is going to be the door contact, door lock relay, and then our inbound reader. We could do an outbound reader. If we had a reader on either side of the door, we wouldn't be using a request to exit then. We're going to say readers are continuously active. And then our request to exit we're going to put in there, and we can have that request to exit unlock the door every time it's activated and have it shunt the door every time it's activated and that's what we're going to set it up to do just going to set it up to shunt and we're going to save and close oh before we save and close we got to give it a name this one here we can just call it front door front door let's spell that correctly there we go front door and we're going to save and close and under doors we now have our front door and as you can see, we've got everything in there set up. Okay, let's just close this real quick. We'll go back to our ACM pan panels. And you'll notice if we go in here, it tells us, oh, it's a door switch. And it's been assigned to the front door. request to exit and it's assigned to the front door so there you go that's how you set up a door in an iStar panel